Sri Lanka's new government plan to sell its national airlines to stream losses part of an effort to stabilize the nation's finances even as the authorities are forced to print money to pay government salaries. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe said in a televised address to the nation that the new administration has planned to privatize the Sri Lankan airlines. The new Prime Minister pledged to announce new relief budget to replace President Godabaya Rajapaksha's development budget that helped soak Asia's fastest inflation rate. Billionaire Elon Musk has told social media platform Twitter that the $44 billion US dollar deal to buy the microblogging company will not go through if the company fails to show the proof that a spam bot account for less than 5% of its total users. In a tweet, the owner of SpaceX said, My new offer was based on Twitter's SEC filing being accurate. Yesterday, Twitter's CEO publicly refused to show proof of less than 5% spam account. This deal cannot move forward until he does. The much-awaited IPO of the Life Insurance Corporation of India or LIC made its debut at the BSC and NSC at 10 a.m. today. The IPO of LIC was selling like hotcakes when it opened for subscription with investors booking the IPO 2.9% times over 16.20 crore rupees share that were on offer during the subscription period. LIC's IPO opened for subscription from May 4th to 9th and was priced between 902 and 949 rupees per share. Kannada television actress Chetana Raj passed away at a private hospital in Bangalore in Karnataka where she was admitted on Monday, May 16th for fat-free plastic surgery. The actress developed complications as the fluid began to accumulate in her lungs. She then breathed her last despite attempts to save her. Her parents have accused the doctor of negligence and have filed a complaint. Heavy rainfall has thrown life of people in Assam of gear with more than 2 lakh people in 20 districts of the state being affected in the Dimahaso district of the state which is completely cut off due to landslide which were triggered by heavy rains. On Monday, two people died due to the floods in the state while landslide claimed life of three people according to the local authorities. 55 relief camps have been set up to help the people in seven districts which is currently housing 32,959 people. 